On this episode, we are talking about the discussion between Tabi Somukheti and Kokos Kotein. Now, I want to highlight here, in classic Ricky fashion, <laughs> it's been way too long between my planning of the video and the actual time when I'm actually going to release the video. So, my apologies. But on this video, I'm not even going to do the full breakdown episode. I want to just show you one point in that discussion which shows you uh, Gogos Koteni's errors inside there. Like something that I think a lot of people like to do or they, they do so often they don't even realize it. But first of all, I'd like to commend both of them. Commend uh, Gogos Koteni for being willing to have the conversation. Because others, they pretend as if there's no discussion. There is no conversation, which is not the truth. And so I would commend her for being willing to have the conversation. And also for Tabiso, great work leadership, you know. And also for people to understand, you know, handle the knowledge you have with respect to the Bible, you know. And I think that speaks very much volume here. You know, when Tabiso is not clear on something, he says, I I'm not clear on that one. I will not pretend. But in Gogos Kotein's case, he, on this particular discussion, she doesn't do that. Even when she is not clear on certain information, she goes on to address it. But in this discussion, I want to also bring my Quran. There is a certain verse I want to... There is actually two verses I want to read for you for my, for my Quran that will show this particular point. So you see the complexity of this video already will tell you why sometimes videos just don't get get get, get done on time it's the next reality show with the daily christian commentary videos if it's the first time over here to be sure to check out the mother videos that are down in the pink comments and i'm gonna check you out over there and so that being said let's get straight into this video i'm gonna start at 37 minutes there's a point she makes there that relates to a point she made at 37 minutes. These two are going to be very crucial for us to understand how Gogos Koteni handles information, even if she's not clear. And so, just to highlight one of the reasons why the, the, the episode is not out. <laughs> All right. So, this is what they, they get in talking about. Okay. Christ is the only man. The John 18 verse, is it 24 or 4? Okay. It says, Right? Uh, I, not, 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 not that day. Okay. Not in, 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 is it John 14 verse 24? Okay. So, she's, she starts speaking about Jesus being wrong. Now, this might not be clear yet, but she will get the verse and she will then clarify it. I don't yeah. know. But I to know. tell me the point yeah. of the... I think I, I want that. Is it John 14 verse 24? Yeah, it's okay. John. I think it's John 14 or John 18 verse 24. Mm -hmm. It says, Unkulu unkulu bam shayang and pam. Excuse me. And bam shayang and pam, wash our police officer. Gushi pepe. I ang las lel. Nzo kombisa e pepe ni la. There it is. So, Tamiso says, you know, that particular point you are mentioning, I'm not clear on. Now, the verse that she's talking about, please give me time on this video so that I can explain for you what was happening or what Scotini deems as aggression. I want to give you the, the biblical narrative around that. I won't be too long. So give me time a little. Yeah, John 14. 18. And why is a police officer? Okay. Okay. The police officer said to Unkulunkulu, you cannot speak like that with the king. Not Can the I tell you something? Not the day I'm Can crucified. I tell you, I have never in my life heard about this. But if, it's in, the, if it it's in the Bible, yeah. I'll find it. You're going to hear. Angiazi. Angiazi. I, I, my, my I know the Bible. So right there. She says, you know, when it comes to the Bible, I know the Bible. And she's quoting a point in John chapter number 18. And in that particular space, Jesus gets slapped. And when, my bad, when Jesus gets slapped, I had to move the audio. But then just in case also, I think sometimes uh, people just don't understand the hassle of these things. I, you know, I had actually shot this video 
you can actually see the video right here it's it was a 25 minute video you can see it there but if you listen to the video on this episode i want to deal with the big debate between you can hear there was generator noise and unfortunately today the generator noises were too loud they were too much uh, when they lo when there's load shading here generators go on and today they were just loud and so i'm just highlighting that so that people understand um sometimes when you hear noise it's not that i, I didn't try to remove the noise it's that the noise just becomes too loud and also if you're in south africa I don't know why someone will be complaining about noise outside. We are in serious load shedding where lights go off six times a day. You expect me to film when? <laughs> okay, so please be understanding in that one. So back to that point. So Jesus gets slapped and she says, according to Gogos Koten, she says, no, it's because he spoke badly to the king okay. there. Okay. Yeah, John 14. John 15. Verse 24. Please check it out for me. Iti, unkulunkulu ba msha yenge mpa. Okay. And wae shawa i police officer. Ngo ba unkulunkulu wae kulumisa inkosi ya la apogabi. The police officer said to unkulunkulu, you cannot speak like that with the king. All right. No problem. So I want to explain that point. Because, so she's taking it at face value. She's taking what the verse says at face value. But there is a lot to understand about what's happening in the Bible, particularly in that area. First of all, the trial was wrong. If you check our live stream during uh, Easter, you will see what we did an entire breakdown. I was with Brother Kumbero, shout out to him. And we were talking about the things which were done wrong in the trial. First of all, the trial is done at night. You can't arrest someone at night according to Jewish custom. Number two, the trial and the, the, the handing down of the judgment are done at the same day. That's not allowed in Jewish custom. Even in our law, presently, you don't do that. The, the day of presentation of evidence and the day of uh, handing down the judgment are not the same day. You cannot do that in the same day. So there were things that were being done wrong according to Jewish custom. And so when Jesus said, the particular statement that she doesn't clarify on here, is what Jesus says in that statement is, he was asked, you are teaching wrong things, you are teaching, teaching things that are wrong and blah, 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 blah. So they basically wanted him to testify that he was teaching wrong things. Now in Jewish law, you can't testify against yourself. <laughs> okay? You can't testify against yourself. And so they were asking him to do what it doesn't even allow. But basically, they fail doing that. Then they start presenting other evidence. So his answer is, no, ask the people that have had me. So Jesus refers them to the, to the custom of the period. It was not a hush. The answer that he gave or the question that he gave or posed was not harsh. So yes, she's saying what the, the, the soldier said. But what the soldier said was not accurate to what Jesus had said. And so, because it's written there, yeah, yeah you have to read the full context. <laughs> the context is that Jesus was not wrong. Of course, the Bible verse does not say, does not tell you the custom. The writer assumes you understand, or you've done your research, or your pastor will explain it to you. The writer assumes you understand the background of Jewish law so that you will understand how the case was being done was wrong. Jesus was saying, why are you asking me for evidence? Why don't you ask the people that have heard me to confirm whether the things that I have said are wrong? So that's point number one there. But the thing that I want to also highlight is that she is highlighting that Jesus was the was wrong. Jesus was hard. Can the I tell day, you I'm, something? Not the day, but I'm crucified. Can I tell you, I have never in my life heard about this. But if, it's in, the, if it's in the Bible, yeah. I'll find it. But that's very important. You don't know something? You just say, no, you know what, I, I'm, I'm still in the process of learning and so forth, so comments on that one. But then, Angiazi, Angiazi. I know the Bible. And I but, big problem. It creates problems. Now, why? Before I present you with a second point. Ooh, this microphone is disturbing me. Before I present you with a second point, um, 
I want to get to the Quran verse that I spoke about. In the Quran, there was a situation that happened with Muhammad. People had questions saying, ah, the Christians are teaching this, the Jews are teaching this. And so Muhammad gives an answer to them, okay? Which, is in, which, is, which aligns with this. And it's in Surah chapter number 10, verse 94. And he says, if you are in doubt of the things that we have revealed unto thee, then ask those who have been reading the book, the people of the book, basically, in the Quran, are Christians and Jews. I said, no. Ask the people that have been, uh, that have read or that have had the truth before. So Muhammad acknowledges that the Christians and Jews had the truth. And so he says, as he goes on, ask them of the truth of the people that have had the book before you. And the truth has been indeed come to you in this wise. Now, the second verse that I want to read here will be, uh, so from Surah chapter number 10, we go all the way to Surah chapter number 46. And verse 12, it says, For before this was the book of Moses. So before you guys, so you guys were asking me, wow, the Christians are teaching this, the Jews are teaching this. Before you guys, the Jews had the book. The Christians had the book. For you, it is a book of confirmation in the Arabic tongue. So that there tells you a problem with people trying to convert people to, to Islam. But anyways, subject of a different day. Muhammad right there and Allah are saying, this was just a book interpreting what was in the Jewish thing and in the Christian's book in your own language. It's not meant to be a new religion. Okay? So, first of all, when they had a problem with the Jews, he says, no, go ask them. They have the truth. They should confirm what is in the, in the book. So, what Gogos Koteni does is that she refers to what she understands instead of asking Christians. So, even in, in the Quran's time, they had the same problem, but they handled it differently. They said, no, you have a problem with Jewish texts, ask the Jews. You have a problem with the Bible, ask people of the Bible, because they have the truth. So now, if she has a problem, and she says no, she has a problem with the, with, the, with the Christian Bible, and she has a problem with Jesus, and she says no, Jesus was wrong in there. And then she says, no, I have, I have, I know the Bible. But not only that, she goes on to actually say this here. But you see, that's the thing, he has. My, my finger, Pepelin. I know the Bible, and I but love the see, Bible. So she says she loves it. But if you love it, how come you think Jesus was the wrong one in that context? Ask the people of the book. Ask the Christians. The same way Muhammad recommended those that are in the otherwise. Okay? That believe otherwise. And so this is the first problem. She thinks the person at that time was, uh, Jesus was wrong. And so they no, bring the verse. Knowledge, actually. Yes. Okay, it's it's John 18. Okay. Right? So 80. Mama kata gumshang in papa. Ah, and I read it too, me. Okay, it says. <laughs> is, Don't play those games with Tavi. <laughs> read it so that we can hear. That's the way you answer the high priest, he demanded. <laughs> if I said something wrong, Jesus replied. Testify as to what is wrong, but if I spoke the truth, why did you strike me? There you go. So in the text, it tells you. That's what the priest said. He said he accused Jesus of saying something wrong. Jesus then asked him, what is the thing that is wrong? Tell us. And then he can't recall. As a matter of fact, he doesn't answer because he was wrong in, in attacking thingy. But the idea of aggression, of saying Jesus was being aggressive, that's the thing that I wanted to show that they were handling the case wrongly. But anyways, let's go on here. Then Anna sent him still bound. So they were in a public. It's it's John 18, verse 22 and 24. Okay, I'll read it. But yeah. you 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 may ask me what you want, even though I'm not familiar with the so what's scripture. The point? Yeah. But as a Christian, I'm sure I'll know the truth. So meaning there was a king in that particular place or wherever, according to the Bible. Okay. This was not a king. That's why I say, ask the Christian. This is Annas, right? The the high priest. And also, that whole thing was very weird, is that there was a high priest and 
there was a retired one and then there is the high priest you you can't have two judges but anyways so that that, that shows the, the the case was being handled wrong so the person she's referring as a king is not a king the person she's referring to is the high priest the priest of the temple at this particular period Pilate is put as governor in this area he's the one who's in charge so even when they go to Pilate they have to refer to 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 the Roman law but when they were in the temple temple law was the one that was supposed to rule even Pilate accuses them so when she says there was a king or something it's still not the king it was a priest particularly you 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 may ask me what you want even though i'm not familiar with that scripture yeah. but as a christian i'm sure i'll know the truth so meaning there was a king in that particular place or wherever according to the bible la okay. bebekon then unkunkulu was ofika yena ukhuluma aggressively ngifuna ukhuluma kile point uthi when he has never done anything wrong so right there that's my point she's accusing him of being wrong wakhuluma aggressively with the king meaning there was a king that was bigger than unkunkulu lapho ah uh, okay so there was a by unkunkulu she means jesus there was a king bigger than okay jesus then answers this particular part so he answers you know you are a king of this world to pilot not to the high priest ne yeah? so this context is helpful it's important because the idea that she's going on to say that jesus was never wrong but here he was wrong because he spoke wrongly to the king and that king was bigger than you know so that unkulunkulu didn't have yes kusho no. baimela kusho there was a king like point out when he has never done anything wrong wakhuluma aggressively with the king meaning there was a king that was bigger than unkulunkulu lapho that unkulunkulu didn't have yes kusho baimela kusho mina ha ma kusho baimela oh zwa a a na sho mi lalela when you listen to ifunda yo man upike isiqiniso here's the thing iqiniso elakho ele baimela So she says no that's your truth not the one of the bible but you still have not handled the text correctly it was not a king it was the high priest that Jesus has the answer and by the way they were asking him questions did they not want him to answer and when he answers he shows them that they are hand- you guys are handling the law wrong like i stated we did an entire live stream about this about the wrongful things that were done in the in the entire thing. So, if you have a question about Christians, ask the Christians. Don't ask ex Christians. When in king and abaya. And so, this is one of the problems that you see there. Now, I um, remember on this video I'm just highlighting the particular ones that I I think there were one particular point. So, at 37 minutes again, she does something else Second again. Testament he comes back, right? Yeah. Yes. 18 first testament or second uh wait because of these same detestable practices the lord your god will drive those nations before you you must be blameless before your god that is the terinomy right yes queen as a terinomy 18 first testament or second uh first first right okay. yes. then we come to the second testament okay so by testament here, i just want to clarify she means old testament okay she's not saying that there is like Deuteronomy first Deuteronomy or second Deuteronomy okay so it's just for people to be clear on that yes. when you come to the sec- second testament he comes back right yeah he said i the lord i'm not here to change anything okay mm-hmm. right yes Am I right? it's true he said i am not here to change anything but i'm here to add Uh-huh. And when you speak about the book of the Deuteronomy you speak about the book of the Deuteronomy that a prophet had an experience of now he's putting it off to people that okay problem has been presented she says jesus says that he is here to add that's not what jesus says jesus says he is here to fulfill he doesn't add the word is complete the way it is he it he is here to fulfill the aspects of the of the scriptures which is the law which was man side of things he doesn't add he's here to fulfill 
that he has an experience of. It's like the book of of now. So she's explaining the Deuteronomy book. here or the whole book thing? of Deuteronomy that a prophet had an experience of. Now he's putting it off to people that he has an experience of. It's like the book of Job. Job is showing his experience. The book of David. David is showing his experience. No, it's all do different. Me. Okay, wait. I let when me you finish this. Okay, let me hear it's you. It's all different, right? Uh-huh. They, they now the book of Deuteronomy on its own. It's under which prophet? I don't know. Thank you. That's why you should know that. Now, the that's why you should know that. So this there implies she knows, right? But then she goes to tell us this. The book of Deuteronomy, it's about a land. We okay. start there. Womhlaba, who was owned by a certain king, right? Okay. Now that king, unom teto wa ke womhlaba, au letter eban twin back guti la. Not umsabes in the world. Chuti lagule plaza lagu kupi interso na so na so na so na so ayenzi, right? So she's she's putting this idea that there is a physical king like on earth. That's what the law in Deuteronomy is. That's wrong. Deuteronomy and Leviticus are about God showing. The standard they would have to be in purity. Remember, God was showing himself through the Israelites. And so he's showing the standard they would need for that relationship between Israel and them. And uh, in between Israel and God. And so he's giving them the standard. It's not a king on earth. No. So she already has the wrong context of it. Now, when you go to the Second Testament, it says, 1 John chapter 1, verse 1. It okay. says, in the beginning of yes. everything, it was the Word. And the Word was and with the God, word and the was Word was, was God, God. And the Word was God Amen. in the beginning. Okay. Now, this point here, I did see that there was a lot of people that misunderstood Ukwakos Kotin. And it's very easy to misunderstand her. But until you understand where she's coming from, as she answers or when she questions, Ukwakos Kotin has an idea. In her head. Remember, she just said that the Deuteronomy or the Deuteronomical outlay, it's a king on earth putting a law to the people around, like a certain land. So she's, she phrases it like that. This is important. Keep what she says. Don't keep your context of what the, the book of Deuteronomy is about. Remove that. Take Gogos Kotene's idea that there is a king on the earth. This is going to be important of how she interprets the First John chapter John chapter number one right now, okay? Yes. Right? So in the beginning there was no deuteronomy. In the beginning there was no David. In the beginning, it was just the word. And the word was with God and the, the word, word word was, was God, God right? Yes. The word was with God. again. I'm going to mean your quotation. Yes. Yes. Which is Jesus, right? Okay. I'm it's in the beginning it was him. Yes. No, the word is God being Jesus, but remember, remove your context and listen solely to Scotty, ne? because it's going to be important for us to establish what is she getting to. Sometimes, this is why I say people should learn apologetics. Apologetics allows you to listen to the root thought of the person, and that allows you to answer them indeed, like answer them as a whole. Now, let's go back. In the beginning, it was the word, not him. In the beginning was the word. It was God. Which is Jesus. So it's not about God. It's about the word. Okay. It's in the beginning it was him. Yes. In the beginning it was the word, not him. So God is not there. It's the word. Please remove your context and stick to Scotanis. In the beginning was the word. It's in the Mm -hmm. beginning. So there was no God in the beginning. It says in the beginning it was the word. Okay. So you're saying there was no God in the beginning. No, listen. Okay. In the beginning, yes. it was the word. Yes. I eat it was God. Then it is. But that's where you were missing it, do No, me? listen. It, it was the word, right? And the word was with God. And the word, and the word was God. Hallelujah. Yes. You just said so it. God is the... F- is, 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 and then is what a, did the word do? Let's not... If we want to read it, let's... I, I do believe here, Tabiso should have allowed her to finish it off. But I understand. Christian, we get excited, we want to answer. Sometimes it's important to hear the full thought because the full thought will reveal where the person is answering the Bible from. Now, what I believe 
uh, to because uh, she by the way that's why I say kudos to how she handled the conversation because she's clear on what she's trying to question continue she's going to she's going to eventually get her thought through ne? So. It's completed. And then the word came down to be flesh and dwelt among men. Exactly, no. So she, when you come to the flesh, she's excited. Why? Remember, stick to to me, okay? Don't have answers. <laughs> when I get on Kazalan, you are finishing what I'm saying. The yes. word became flesh, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Now yeah. the word became us. Do you see where she's going to? She is taking that idea she had about about Deuteronomy. This is why I say it's important to hear the full thought of the person. She's taking the idea she had about Deuteronomy of there being a king in a certain land. It's not the whole world, so it's not God. So it's a certain land. There was a king who was given the law. So she's coming to the conclusion that in the beginning was the word. The word became us. Not Jesus. It became us. We flesh. She goes on to feather it. We are flesh. But you must be... We, exactly. No. when I get on Kazalan, Uguti, you are finishing what I'm saying. The yes. word became flesh. Yeah. Right? Now yeah. the word became us. We are flesh. But you must be... We are God. Wait, wait. Before you take it and make it the about you... The word became flesh. No, do me. Wait, wait. You said I must listen to you. I'm on... Okay. So, like I said, Bazalan, eh? it's important we continue having conversations. These things are very important. What Dumi has brought out here, I do commend her thoughts or expression of thought. Absolutely. Because it's a set of, it will tell you how to answer when you are talking to them. This is very... And again, let's, we need to learn apologetics. Sometimes apologetics helps you here because you are able to see how is a person thinking around it. So to me comes to the conclusion that when the Bible says when the, the word became flesh, flesh is us. It can't be God because God is spirit. So she, it's her conclusion about, about Deuteronomy that when the law has been given, it was us who was doing it. And therefore, if it is us who was doing it, why don't I listen to us, ancestors? So her idea, you, you have to hear the full thought. So that's why, guys, I've been battling with breaking this episode down is because this thing was so deep and i think it's good that it came out the way it did ne? so we are like tabby so we get we get excited ne? yeah so don't fault him <laughs> we, we get excited we got an answer but sometimes it does help to have that conversation and you hear the full thought because Gokos Kotemi's conclusion here we shouldn't we should be answering who is the flesh that he's talking about that's the question. This would answer her. You know? But the conversation is very important. So that we, like, like the same way you had these guys come to Muhammad and say, Muhammad, these people are teaching wrong. He said, no, no, no. Go to ask them. Go to the Jews. Go to the Christians. Ask them what they believe. Don't stand there and then uh, create conclusions that they are wrong. Because what you have, it's just an interpretation of what they have and think. But of course, we know that that, that is wrong. Because the Quran says completely different things. We know that particular part. But that particular phrasing of how he dealt with that debate, it's very important to note the full thought that she is having. And the full thought that she's having is not a biblical one. Okay? Because she says she loves the Bible. She says she, she knows the Bible. These areas are important for us to highlight so that they can understand the areas of error where they are in. I hope this video does highlight why my head has been trying to break this, how should I break this episode down and com and make it compact, you know, that it shouldn't be as long as the episode, but it should be uh, comprised with information that is very relevant in how you handle this particular information. Uh, maybe I'll find a way. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep me in prayer. But on this one, I wanted to highlight this particular two points so that we can understand the discussion is very important. These people that are dismissing the conversation, you are dismissing that opportunity to be able to fully understand them so that you can fully answer them. There is answers for everything that Timmy has questions about. There is answers for everything. Even I might not have the full answers. That's why you keep seeing me uh, promoting other channels like Bizrad Africa, whatnot, people that are very vast in this particular thing. Apologetics is a very wide study and 
the one person can't do it all, but we must allow the conversations because the conversation will make us efficient in being able to communicate the message of the gospel. It's tricky. I'll see you on a later on episode. Y'all have a good one. Please do like the video. Hey, yeah, you can see the headache <laughs> that I was trying to break down and all that. I'll see you later, uh, but maybe I'll be able to do the full episode later.